Guys, I've been brainstorming since yesterday when I found that cereal rye um, that has just gotten huge because of uh, some chicken manure that was on it. I remember watching on Twitter, I believe it was Jason Mock sometime at the end of last year, um, talking about a portable chicken tractor and how uh, we could use this to move through a field. What I've brainstormed up, I'm not sure if this is what he was thinking of, uh, but it's what I kind of imagined in my head what he was talking about, what we could do with this. Uh, basically, it's just an autonomous um, frame, really, that moves chicken tractors throughout a field. So imagine like what a pivot, center pivot irrigation system would look like. Wheel on each corner, um, a few chicken tractors. If you take the bolts out that are right here, move that over, you could stick another chicken tractor and have three or four or five or six or seven, and then put that back on. It doesn't matter how wide it is, it just needs to be structurally sound to carry it. Carry these chicken tractors. I've measured out these chicken tractors be four and a half foot wide to fit down a five foot row, uh, 60 inch corn, and 10 foot long and three foot tall. 135 square foot should be able to fit around 30, 35 birds um, with a small skid in the front so it can go over the ground if it's not completely flat. Attached to a hook that hangs down off of this frame, like so. Um, these need to be strong enough, heavy enough that they sit on the ground and something can't dig underneath. The cool thing is if you put a solar panel on top and a, a, like a motor and roll this, something won't have time to completely dig under that in one evening. Um, it's going to constantly be moving forward. They're going to have to constantly be digging a new hole. So I'm not worried about uh, something digging underneath and getting to them. I'm more worried about them flipping it over. So it needs to be strong enough to hold it down um, to keep whatever animal out of it. This solar panel, multi-use. I'm figuring we'll use this thing 16 weeks out of the year during the growing season. Take it out there May 1st, run it. You'll get two groups of broilers, um, eight weeks apiece, so 16 weeks total. Start May 1st, you're done August 31st. Plant a short season corn, something like 100 day variety. Flex ear at a low population. You'll be grabbing all of these sun's rays coming in low population. We're not going for 250 bushel corn. We're going for the cheapest dollar input per bushel. So I'm fine with 100 bushel corn if we've got zero input besides maybe say some nitrogen that we put down in a two by two with the planter. I'm guessing these will travel through the field. If you're familiar with the John Deere row sense um, or you know what they have on the new sprayer that will take you between the row, this doesn't have to be super fancy. We've got five foot here that this machine can go down and just something to kind of guide it so it doesn't run over the corn, um, slightly adjust it. And we're only moving 10 or 20 foot a day. If we're out there for 16 weeks, seven days in a week, that's 112 days. If we're moving 10 foot a day, that's a quarter mile in your season, in your summer. If you're moving 20 foot a day, if you're moving two of these, well, that's 4.42. Um, so for example here, I drew up, imagine if this is a 40 acre field, a quarter mile by a quarter mile, You've got 15 foot of grass on each end for this thing to turn around, if you get that far. Um, that grass also doubles as an uh, erosion. Um, you can slow down soil rolling off your field if your field is uh, sloped. So that catches your soil and you can drag it back up into the middle every couple years if you'd like. So that's a win-win if you set your fields up like this. This solar panel, you're using it for 16 weeks a year. The other X amount of weeks a year, just set this anywhere you want behind a barn let it gather energy you're going to be watering these chickens uh, if you're familiar with the drag line manure system just hook a water hose up it doesn't need a lot of pressure sure you'll have them drinking water throughout the day but you don't have to take them 100 gallons at once and it's only going to move 10 foot a day so you're not going to put a lot of stress on this line just run water to it and while they're not drinking set up a little irrigation just let it mist this corn back here or whatever you've got growing half inch it won't take that much we're, we're not talking a lot of movement every day just enough to give these chickens some fresh weeds or grass or whatever you may plant in the middle let them leave manure behind and hopefully help that corn out this is the rotation i've thought up so this first year we'll have 60 inch corn or sweet corn or popcorn or soybeans whatever you'd like with these chickens traveling down the middle well, if you plant a short season corn and get that off early, you know, the beginning of September, plant a cover crop across the whole field and run cattle or sheep on it. You've got your grass barrier here. You can set up a really good electric fence. 
Just let your animals out. Let them piss. Let them crap. Let them eat. Let them do animal things. Leave some manure behind for the crop the next year. That next year where these chickens ran, lay a black plastic down, plant some vegetables. You know, plant... I'm guessing you probably wouldn't want to plant a carrot or a potato that grows underneath ground where all that manure is at. But there's no reason you can't plant a squash or a pumpkin. And here where that corn row was last year, wherever that rye and radish or whatever may be that was planted here as well, just let it grow in the spring and then roll it down and crimp it. Let this stuff expand, cover that. Let whatever dead plant material here decompose and then year three, come right back and do the same thing again. And you're going to grow an amazing corn or soybean crop or whatever. What we've got here, the benefits really, is low input. It's autonomous for the most part. You might want to take them some chicken scratch, some cracked corn every now and then. But they're basically watering and feeding themselves. And you're taking sunlight, making a corn crop. And it's also shading the animals. Unless you get stuck in a mud hole... I think this would be really cool. I think it's interesting. Um, I'm sure there's issues I'm not thinking of, but that's why I'm wanting to post this to start a discussion on it. Do you think something like this is possible? Do you think this is the direction we'll move in the future, getting away from a 30-inch corn and 15-inch bean monocrop year after year and um, you know, starting to throw some variety in there, starting to get some other crops in there? Kind of think outside the box. We're, I think this is possible to build. I don't know what it would cost, but really you've got a frame, four wheels, a solar panel, some kind of eye to guide it down the rows. And um, the rest of the year, you can let that solar panel sit out. You don't have to constantly use it for chickens. You can use it for anything. You could rig up spray booms on it and go through the field, you know, real slow and maybe throw a fungicide out. I think it would be interesting to see something like this come about. I don't have the money to build it. If anyone out there knows who to get a hold of, I think this would be cool and I'm wanting to try something like it out. So Thank you. We'd love to hear your thoughts. You guys have a good day.